Hi everybody. So for those that, of you that still follow me, thank you very much. And I think maybe people might have been wondering where the hell I disappeared to, if anybody really notices, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I did my European trip last year. I had lots of plans for cycling this year, lots of trips. I wanted to do um, a big tour, another European tour. Um, but life just got in the way, um, family stuff, things going on. So it's probably been one of my worst years for cycling in about well since I started so like the last eight years so yeah I haven't done the things I wanted to um but there's always another year we'll shift those along to uh 2024 and yeah I'm just out today exploring some quite local roads to me so the national forest um so I put my bike in the car it was only about a half an hour drive and I'm just exploring some of the roads here so come on come and see what it's all about course found I'm on the road starts with the road section it is way colder than I expected and I did not bring gloves <laughs> here we go this route explores the national forest area right in the heart of the country I'm here riding on the Leicester Derbyshire border finally got off road yes So this is a lovely 35 mile route that I saw someone had posted on the Gravel Cycling UK Facebook group. It takes in tracks, towpaths, woodland, footpaths, grassy section and a really fun single track part at Hicks Lodge. I felt really lucky to be out riding on such a beautiful day. Blue skies, cold, but yeah, a lovely sunny day. Slippy, slippy, gravel tyres. <sighs> Apologies, it always feels like there's something to complain about at some point. Hands are warmed up a bit now. really hard work. <laughs> yeah, there's bits where you should just ride it and I don't and I get off and I'm like why? Where's feet? <laughs> now this little section through the woods really felt a treat. I had the place to myself and it just felt so special. I love sub woodland so much. Um, good, yeah, good for the soul. Riding off-road just feels so much more relaxing compared to road cycling. No traffic to navigate and worry about and also the chance to just feel closer to nature. 
In such a busy world, it's good to slow down a little. And when I'm riding off road, I'm not worrying about how fast or far. It's more about just enjoying the ride. My cycling has changed a lot over the years. I've done many things I'm proud of, but now I mainly just enjoy touring and exploring. My mind is most inspired when I'm outside and things just seem to make sense. That sky and that view, what's not to love? This route really took me by surprise with how beautiful it was and how many little off-road sections there were, something that we're not usually treated to um, around my ride of, or at least I thought it wasn't. Scotland round here. I feel like I'm riding round a lock now. Look at this. It's a thumbs up from me this route. I'm really impressed. Then it was the last little bit which took me along the canal towpath and I was heading now sort of back in the direction from where I started and where I parked up. another successful day's riding and yeah a big thumbs up from me. <laughs> See you next time!